mistakes youtubers make and seven tips to get better this topic is good for any youtuber i don't care if you're brand new or if you've been around for a while i'm going to bring up some mistakes that youtubers have made some of them you might have realized you've already made them and you fix them and then i'm going to share some tips to get better i think sometimes um, when we make videos on youtube we overthink it i think all of us have been there especially in the beginning and we just end up losing time because of some of these mistakes so if you're new these are really good for you because you can avoid the mistakes all right number one this is a mistake people make I love so many topics I just want to share them all so they create a channel and then they end up talking about everything they love their dog their construction company their health and fitness and even though there are people coming to the channel that love certain parts of you your audience is confused because if I came and started watching your channel because you were sharing um, how much you love your dogs and maybe it was a really good video about how to groom them then i'm expecting more videos about dogs i'm not expecting a video about your photography business so what happens is you end up having a variety show you're going to ex experience very very slow growth because people drop out when you're not producing more content from the first content where they found you does that make sense so it's really really important to find a niche um, I talked about this in a previous video where there's three niches there's wealth there's health and there's relationships pick one of those three areas and then stick with it and within that area you can narrow down your topic but you want your channel to focus on that one niche and stay there and then you'll see that you'll have more growth now I do know people that still have that passion for other topics, but my um, recommendation to you would be then to start another channel. I would not start it until the first one has taken off and is doing well. Then you can put that into your schedule because it does take a lot of time. It does take a lot of effort and work to get your channel up and running because you do need to be consistent. So choose that niche and be realistic about it because another mistake some people make is um, they might say I'm going to start a YouTube channel about travel and I'm going to travel around the world and I'm going to talk about all these places well if you're not traveling and that's not part of your life you're going to run out of content because maybe you've taken five trips you talk about them then, then where do you go from there so you have to come up with a topic that has longevity and it's realistic in your life um, here's another one maybe you want to do a cooking type of channel where you're doing recipes and you've exhausted all the, your favorite recipes and you're finding that it's cumbersome to have to find more um, so think about what you're offering and how long it can survive because you want your channel to be here forever and you don't want to have to keep changing what it's about all right let's go to the next one have you ever felt like this I'm so stressed out I keep making videos and I'm not getting as many views as so and so so you're watching other people with the same type of content because that's one of the things we're taught to do is find other youtubers so that you can use them as examples but then you start comparing yourself to them and then you start getting stressed out and you might even say well my video is better why are they getting more and I'm not and you're spending all your energy in comparing yourself to somebody else so my tip to you is spend your time on creating good content and just that don't spend your time comparing yourself to other people and within that good content uh, make sure your video is as best as it can be for today look at your thumbnail your description your title and do the best you can and that's and and just keep getting better so give yourself that grace of being who you are today and then just keep getting better from that point because everybody started right where you are everybody started out afraid or stressed and and feeling like they're not good enough but then they they dug in and they just keep getting better so stop looking at everybody else's stop looking at, at the analytics and things like that and just really focus on providing content because the more you provide the better you're going to get and the more people will find you it's just going to happen by default naturally have you ever had this problem I am afraid to make videos I'm not good enough and I'm just gonna wait until I'm ready and I know I think most of us start out here it's like I'm not ready to make that first video I don't want it to go um, I don't want to put it out there especially so everybody can see it and I know it's gonna suck and then people are gonna judge me and I'm just gonna wait I'm gonna practice on the side and I have 
met people that have waited over a year to even start their channel. And honestly, no matter at what point you wait, it's going to be your worst one because no matter where you start from, you're just going to keep getting better. So what's happening is because of your fear, you're preventing yourself from creating content. And I, it, I think by now you've heard that content is king in marketing. People want to associate you with some type of content and that's what they're going to know you for. You're an expert in something. And so if you're not creating that content, how are they going to find you? So just put it out there and don't be afraid and don't waste that time. Another thing, because of that fear, some people will look at other people's videos and you need to do that to get ideas that I mean, really, you need to look at successful people because success leaves clues, but don't copy them. If you try to be somebody else, then it takes away from who you are and you're just trying to be somebody else. I know it's hard not to get caught up with that in the beginning because you're like, oh, so-and-so is very successful and I'm going to do just what they're doing and mine's going to work. And it doesn't really work that way. So my tip to you, is to be authentically you. So sure, you can look at other videos, see see what kind of things people are doing that are successful. How do they make their thumbnails, their descriptions, their titles? With, what are the things that pop, that attract people, but then put your own flavor into it and be you. And my second tip in this section is to embrace your fear. Just do it and, and just get over it. Um, I, I know myself in the beginning, my heart rate would just go up and, and it's okay. Just get over that. And the more you do it, you'll lose that. And then don't get caught up in analytics. I know I just said that before, but focus on creating the content and don't worry about how many views you have or how, how, um, how much time people are watching. Those things are important eventually, but if you just keep focusing on getting better, those numbers will by default go up and you'll just keep getting better analytics without even watching. This mistake a lot of people make, and even when you're around a while, it's probably one you'll start to make, but you keep jumping from one thing to another. For instance, you made a decision to start your YouTube channel, you're creating content, you've been doing it six months, and you're like, I'm not making any money doing this, and I'm wasting my time. Well, it takes time to get your channel going. You might not make any money at first. And so what a lot of people have done, and I, I've watched other people's videos, and they suggest this, is go to uh, become a freelancer and, and give your services to somebody else and start making money there. The problem with that is, when you start freelancing and start creating something for somebody else that you're good at, it takes away your time from your own videos. And then you end up doing less for yourself. So what you need to do is focus on your goal to create great content and really work on your YouTube channel. And in the end, once it gets going and it starts to make a, an income, then you'll have more time to do those other things. So it kind of has to work in reverse, if that makes sense. So even if it's not just freelancing, but maybe other projects, maybe favors for people, ask yourself, is this going to take me away from my number one goal, building my channel and my content, and just learn to say no. And I know that's really hard, especially if you've got a service to give that you've helped other people with. It's really hard to say no. All right, so I'm going to give you a bonus um, tip. Find other like-minded people in your business. And why am I saying that? Because you are sitting at home in an office or a I know one person that works in their basement. Um, you're sitting there all by yourself making these videos, talking to an audience who doesn't respond except through comments. And it can get lonely um, because you're working by yourself. So find like-minded people that are doing what you're doing, become friends and find people at your level, not people that are way above you. Um, just kind of where you're at in, in the building process and just kind of connect with them, become friends and just support each other. Um, I have a, a peer that I've connected with in, in another state. She lives in Kansas. I'm in Ohio. We've never met. We've been friends now for um, over a year. And we met in a training from somebody's course. And we just connected in the Facebook group. And now we support each other and we encourage each other because there's a lot of days that you're just going to feel like giving up. And if this is a decision you made, you need that support. You need somebody to keep telling you to keep going um, so that you don't do that. And my final tip is just give yourself grace. Again, just accept yourself for where you're at today and just keep 
getting better. I already got a couple of links for you below. And one is for the playlist that this video is in. There's other videos um, for beginners in YouTube. And I also, if you haven't started your business, I have a 12 step business plan, that PDF for free. Just hit that link below as well. And you can go through that. Starting a business isn't just making YouTube videos. If you start making money and you've got it, Uncle Sam wants his money, you have to um, be, you have to be a legitimate business. So in that PDF, it tells you what you need to do to become a business and to be legit so that you can really start um, getting better, making money and taking care of Uncle Sam.